my year of living digitally, can a foreign correspondent be launched into cyberspace? In 2008, I tried an experiment with my blog, thomascrampton.com. And after more than a decade at the International Herald Tribune and the New York Times, I decided to try and see if a foreign correspondent without the backing of a major publication can build a global audience using new media tools. The underlying principle, however, was that drawn up by James Gordon Bennett, Jr., the founder of the Paris edition of the New York Herald. He always exhorted his reporters to write about names, 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 news, news, news. So that's the underlying insight which I tried to build around my blog, which was on a WordPress platform, open source platform that I needed to learn how to use. I needed to learn how to use all these other uh, uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, all these new media tools, Twitter. Uh, but the underlying insight was people, people, people. So I had a people page, which, which brings together all the people who have been profiled, and then two people widgets. One widget that appears in the upper right-hand corner of each page, a square with nine fa faces in it, and they can be clicked on to get to a, uh, people who have been profiled on the blog. And then below each posting, there's a widget which appears with the image and profile, linked to the image and profile of uh, the person spoken about in the particular posting. In addition to that, I constantly innovated using Twitter, using Facebook, uh, using YouTube, uh, more experimental channels such as Jaiku, Seismic, always trying to figure out what are the ways that you can tell stories using these new platforms. In the course of the year, I wrote 340 blog posts, uh, posted more than 100 videos on YouTube, and Twittered more than 1,200 times. These platforms, however, are nothing if you aren't telling good stories. And that's what I aim to do. Unlike many blogs, this blog has not been a reference to other blogs and reference to other things. It's not my opinion in general. Mainly, it is based on interviews and original reporting. This has included some high-profile pieces, such as uh, an interview with the ex-Prime Minister of Thailand, Taksin, who is in ex is, lives in exile. And I was the only person who managed to interview him during the crisis when the Thai airports were closed. This interview was picked up. Uh, by mainstream media around the world, uh, broadcast on television here in Hong Kong, in Taiwan, actually on CNN, so in many, many countries around the world, and had more than 50,000 views uh, within a few days. Others included Chris Patton, the last governor of Hong Kong, whom I spoke to shortly after the election of Barack Obama. He had concerns that Barack Obama will uh, have difficult stance on trade. Uh, Oliver Stone, the film director, I spoke to him about why he's selling his Chinese art collection. Good question. And in terms of media, which was a major focus of this blog, uh, I spoke with the founders of many of the new media companies in China, uh, in Hong Kong, in Taiwan, as well as executives at established media companies. The uh, Steve Marco Proto of, of uh, Turner, uh, Angela Mackay of the Financial Times, and also spoke on many other themes, such as uh, economists. Uh, David Roach, uh, the analyst or the, economist, uh, the economics team at, at uh, UBS, who does an excellent job of, of, of bringing a lot of issues out that I've blogged about, and started conversations, launched conversations in cyberspace. What are the results? The results are uh, my YouTube channel has had uh, more than 250,000 views of the videos. Uh, the videos have become a major source of blog traffic for me. and. I have been awarded by YouTube many awards, such as the most viewed director, the most viewed channel, the most viewed video, the most commented video, numerous times. Uh, the Twitter feed, has, my Twitter feed has grown to be the top, one of the top Twitter feeds in China, Hong Kong. Uh, and Facebook, my Facebook page, which I founded, which is called uh, the Foreign Correspondents Club of Facebook, has turned into a community where people, uh, foreign correspondents, meet and talk about what's going on in foreign correspondence. Uh, they find uh, fixers uh, and solve their problems. Uh, in terms of mainstream media, the uh, blog has been picked up by the International Herald Tribune, the Associated Press, AFP, uh, the Irish Times, the Britain's Independent, uh, and the profile page of Barack Obama's half-brother, Mark Nadesanjo, has been cited numerous times, including thousands of hits on the blog itself. In terms of the blog, uh, blog awards include uh, uh, Danway Best China Blogs Award, The Chinalist, it was voted the second most, uh, second best uh, personal blog in China, and uh, the all-top blog aggregator has put it on the China page, 
Uh, and also, I've been invited numerous times to speak, not just to journalism schools, but also to organizations, the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, as well as uh, the Huffington Post has asked me to blog there as a, as a result of my blog. The most important thing taken out of this, however, has been the conversation that's come out of it. Uh, this has been a transition for me do, from, from newspaper writing to using this phone, which is in my pocket at all times, which is where I've done all these videos. Uh, and basically what this has shown me is that new, that new media tools can be used in a very powerful way to tell stories and bring new information to bigger audiences. And so in response to the question of whether a foreign correspondent can be launched into cyberspace using new media tools, my answer, a resounding yes. Thank you for your consideration. See you on YouTube.